Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is the second video in our low level tutorial series. Um, so, just outside of the entrance of Barren Caves here. Just on uh, in Barren Caves. And we're going to look for a Golo. Oh, there's one right there. So, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to kill this guy and you're going to take his gloomy vapor stone. Because you're going to need that to actually get into the dungeon. Now hop on your mount here. If you don't have a mount, obviously you can run as well, but it's going to take you a bit of time. So, we're going to run back to Logar with our gloomy vapor stone. All the way back here. Pretty straightforward. Look for the windmill. Now, when you get to the windmill, you're going to talk to Uncle Kaga. So you're going to create the vapor stone. So now you have a dazzling vapor stone, which only lasts for 60 minutes. Once you have said vapor stone, go into the dungeon. Now, windmill is a little bit of a harder instance, so you're going to at least want somebody with you for this. This isn't something you're going to want to attempt solo. Maybe if you're level 20, with some healing ability, you know, maybe like a mage priest or a warden druid or something. But you're not going to definitely want to attempt it solo, I'll tell you that right now. These are all elites. Um, this is a great way to get low level experience. Um, obviously, this is going to go a little bit faster because I'm max level. But for educational purposes, nobody wants to watch hours of cl trash clearing, so. Thought I'd do this on my main account. All the mobs are pretty straightforward. Um, the bulls will charge you. Warlocks will heal you, or heal the enemy. So you're gonna obviously want to take them out first, so that they don't keep them up. The warlocks will heal. And other than that, some of the guys will silence you. You're going to want to kill the lizard first. If you kill the lizard first, he won't spawn again. So just make your way through here. I'll stand around this cauldron. Let's take them all out at once. All these guys can heal. Mages, warlocks, magicians. Most of the casters in here have the ability to heal themselves and their party. So you're going to want to take out the healers first or you're just going to run into issues with this. Okay. Now, Hodu Hammertooth is either going to be in this room right here, this room right here, or this room right here. But you're going to have to run all the way to the end because this is a two-phase boss. Because basically you're going to kick his ass to half and then he's going to get scared and teleport away. And then you're going to have to kill him the rest of the way. Now, with this boss, it is a DPS check. If you don't down him fast enough, he will one-shot you and your party. So DPS is definitely a factor in this. Um, nothing too crazy like kill him in 20 seconds, but uh, you're definitely going to want to have some speed to it. Okay, 
So this is Hodu Hammertooth. Not very high. 64,000. We're going to one-shot him. But, if you do actually run into him, he's either going to teleport back here, back here, back here, or back here. So, you're going to have to do it accordingly. But, he gives you nice blue level armor, and some tough, some life crystals. And the other one is Illusion Crystals. But with the new Hefner dailies, you don't have to worry about that. Because you can get your elites in 20 minutes. I'll do a video on that later. But that was it. That was called Windmill Basement.